Hey YouTube, this is Coupon Honey coming at you. I want to show you my CVS haul for tonight. Today is the last day to get in on the Nature Bounty deal. All week, the Red Box have been spitting out a $5 off coupon for uh, Nature Bounty. And we also have $4 manufacturer coupon off of any Nature Bounty. Alright, so this week, these are buy one, get one free. So, as you all know, with CVS, you are able to still use a coupon toward the free item. So, you need two of the $4 coupons, manufacturer coupons, and one of the red box $5 coupons. So, that is $13 right there. Okay? So, you find items uh, within the vitamins that are um, $13.00. Or below now if you go below the price of $13 you're gonna need some fillers okay um, so my first transaction I did the um, hair skin and nails okay and I got that and I had to get uh, caramels to fill in okay so I used um, on this transaction I used the $5 ECB, no, I'm sorry, $5 CVS, um, $5 off of the Nature Bounty, and the two $4, okay? So those vitamins were free, okay? And then because um, I had to have fillers, uh, I ended up paying $0.14. Cent. So I'll show you the receipt. I had the... Um, the Nature Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nails came up to eleven forty nine. dollars The second one free. I had three caramels um, to fill that because I had, you know, $13 in coupons. So I had to fill the gap. So I had three caramels, which uh, came out to $0.99 cent for the three. So you see the $4 off, $4 off, $5 off. I paid $0.14 cent out of pocket, okay? And I did hit my... Um, green bag tag and got a dollar back okay so that's for these two hair skin and nails and the three caramels 14 cent all right then um i went to another uh cvs and this is where i had a little problem because i did the exact same thing again i got two of the Nature Bounty, okay, I used two of the manufacturer $4 coupons, okay, and one $5 um, red box coupon. Now, this is a um, um, the same card because it generated that $5 red box coupon twice on the same card, all right? I did have my daughter with me, so she wanted this um, tube of um, lip smackers here, the lip uh, shimmers. Okay, and then I also had a rain check for when the stay free was buy one, get one free. Okay, and then I also had a manufacturer coupon for the stay free that said buy one, get one free. And as we all know, with CVS, according to their policy, the two cancel each other out and the item will be free for you. But you do have to pay the tax on the item. Okay, so, all right, I'll show you the receipt for this transaction. So, you see here, we had the um, the lip shimmers for $4.99. Um, my vitamin D was $11.29, the second one free. The stay free pass, $3.99, $3.99. Then he took one of the $3.99 off because um, of the coupon. Then I had the $2.00. Um, let me see what I had two dollars off of. Oh, there was a red box coupon that said two dollars off of any to stay free, so I used that two dollar coupon as well. Then the four dollars for the nature bounty, the other four dollars for the nature bounty, and the five dollars for um from the red box for the nature bounty. So my total came out to five ninety two out of pocket. Okay, but what's wrong with this transaction is the fact that he did not cancel out both of the stay free. And the reason he said 
He said, the cashier, this cashier always give me a hard time. I really don't like to go to him, but I stay calm. I stay patient. And I just deal with him. You know, just any of my new couponers out there, just stay focused. Stay professional. You know, you're a professional couponer. And you just stand there and you just, you know, hey, talk like you know what you're talking about, even if you don't know what you're talking about. Because they will scam you out of a nickel and a dime if they can so i closed out my transaction i knew he was not correct when he said you can't use both the reason why you didn't get the additional 399 off is because you can't use the buy one get one free rain check and the buy one get one free manufacturer coupon so i asked him i said so when an item is on sale um, and the manufacturer coupon happened to say the exact same thing that the item is saying when it's on sale. I can't use that manufacturer coupon. He said, no, you can't. I said, hmm, really? He said, I'll call the manager since you don't believe me. So he calls the manager over, explains to the manager. And I said, you know, I've done this transaction before. I said, um, this is how I ended up with a rain check because they ran out of the items. So... I don't understand why you're not complying with your policy. And he said, no, that's that's right. You have to choose one or the other. Well, they both are saying the same thing. And according to your policy, they cancel each other out. And so I end up paying tax. He said, no, that will be giving you the items for free. Okay, so this is the deal. I pack up my stuff. I leave out the store because, as you see, I closed out that transaction. I paid the five ninety two. I was not going to stand there and belittle myself and, you know, um, talk to them any longer about this matter because there comes a point in the time where you know what's in black and white is what matters, you know. So I had to, you know, I had my daughter with me. She's 10 years old, and so I said, you know, come on, let's go to the car and just give mommy a minute. And so I had to pull it up on my phone, you know, the policy, the CVS coupon policy. So I pulled it up on my phone, and to all my new couponers, download. You got a smartphone, download these um, policies, coupon policies onto your phone so you could pull them up just to happen that the line was long you know it was an awkward situation and I just wanted to step back from the situation and then I could you know regroup and get myself together so that I could present the facts you never want to talk about what you think or anything like that you just want to put the facts in their face you know because the, the, the bottom line they don't want you to call corporate and so they're going to, you're going to get the deal okay so I pull it up on my phone. Uh, we go back in and I go straight to the manager. I said, this is your coupon policy. I show him because it starts out with the CVS logo. It goes on and, you know, into the complete policy. I scroll down. I zoom in so that he could see that when it comes to a buy one, get one free sale. Okay. Customer is allowed to use a coupon on both products. Okay, and also if it's a buy one, get one free sale and a buy one, get one free uh, coupon, the customer is allowed to use that. They must pay the sales tax. Okay, he looked at it. He was like, appeared to me like he was just so nervous about it. Like, oh my God, what is she going to do? You know, he went right to the register, opened up the register, gave me $4. So that's why you see the four dollars right here. I mean, didn't even um, talk about the tax on it or anything. Just gave me the four dollars. I said thank you very much, and you have a good day. So, guys, this is just the way it works. Always deal with the facts and pull the policy in their face. That's all you can do. You know, if he did not comply with the policy, then I would have refunded the items. You know, get my money back. And I need to number the corporate or I'm calling corporate. You know, that's all we can do. But that's about it, guys, for my CVS haul. I wanted to show you guys that. And um, until next time, this is Coupon Honey. As always, comment, rate, and subscribe.